Hi, I'm Karan from Dmust. In this video, I'll show you how to check if two strings are anagram or not. Uh, we'll do this in Java. So let's begin. Here I have a sample project named as anagram and a main.java file. In this Java file, I'll create a new method named as public static boolean is anagram it will take two strings and return back whether the two strings are anagram or not uh, let the first string be um, word one and the second one will be word two so now boolean anagram equals to uh, I'll just ignore it we'll create a character array like first word equals to word one dot two lowercase dot two care array and I'll take the second word equals to word two dot two lowercase dot two character array. So now I'll sort the two arrays arrays dot sort I'll type first word here and I'll copy paste and I'll also sort the second word the second word has also been sorted and now I'll just check if the first word and the second word are same like return first word uh, I'll just call the arrays not equals method equals first word comma second word and it will return true or false based on if they are equal or not so the basic trick is to sort the both the strings and then check them if they are equal or not so if they're equal definitely anagrams if they're not equal they're not anagrams so let's just call this method and test this code uh, I'll create a uh, like out println statement as we use OUT control spacebar now I'll be calling the is anagram method and the first word will be hello and the second word will be hello so if they both are anagrams the result will be true So it's true. So basically we are ignoring the case over here in this part. So that's the reason. And uh, uh, let's say we have the data like this. We have spaces in the data. So now let's check if the code works or not. Yeah, it definitely works. So let's include more space here run as so false so since the number of spaces are different in both the strings in that case we'll get a false so how to just remove all the spaces so for that we'll just type dot replace function replace all replace all the spaces with like a null string and we'll do the same for the second word and now let's check the code run it again and we can see it's true so even if we have spaces in the sample data we'll 
achieve the right output so that's it for this video thank you for watching thank you